everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have very exciting products to review and it is the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collection. So I have quite a few products here. I have the two palettes. These are both eyeshadow palettes. This is the Diamond of First Water palette and this is the Belle of the Ball palette. This is from season 1, this is from season 2. I also have the blusher set and this is called Blushing Delights and I also have a lipstick here. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing all of these items and I'm also going to be doing a look on my face. So just a bit of background on Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath is a very, very, very well-known makeup artist. She's worked on a lot of runways and also celebrities. So she created her own makeup line and her makeup line is known for being very high quality. Um, especially the glitters are supposed to be really, really stunning. And that's what even made me want to buy these items. But as with all high-end products comes a very, very high-end price. So... Uh, this set, which my friends very kindly bought me for my birthday, cost a hundred and ten pounds. So a hundred and ten uh, British pounds, if that wasn't clear. A hundred and ten pounds is almost two hundred dollars, uh, Singapore dollars. And this palette, which I bought for myself, was fifty pounds at the time when I bought it. But when I checked the website, it has now increased to sixty one pounds. So you know, it's a very expensive. It's a very expensive set. So. Let's just go through them and make sure that if you want to buy them, you like them. So now, uh, let's begin. I already did my, I've already done my base and I used the Hera Black Cushion in shade 21 and set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and especially concentrating on my under eyes and my eyelids so that they don't crease. Let's just jump right into the exciting part, which is the eyeshadow palette. So now I'm just going to show you what both the eyeshadow palettes look like. And they're actually pretty similar. So this is the Diamond of First Water. These are the shades. And this is the Bell of the Ball. So if I just hold them side by side, you can see that there are quite a few overlapping shades. They're not exactly the same. They have very slight differences. So for example, the blue on this palette is actually a lot more bluish. This one has a little bit more of the green in it. Uh, this palette's pink is also a little bit more brighter. This one's a little bit darker. So uh, subtle differences like that. For today's look, I'm mainly going to use the Bell of the Ball palette and I am going to use these three colours which is the pink, the shimmy pink and the gold. So I'm just going to swatch it on my hand first to show you. This is the pink. This is what the pink looks like. It's pretty smooth actually, the colour. The next one will be the shiny pink and this is what I am looking forward to showing you guys. So look at how nice and shiny this is. This just looks so beautiful, like molten, you know, like molten uh, metal. I love it. I think it's just beautiful even to wear by itself. And just really like pack it on. I think it looks so, so, so gorgeous. So I think I'm going to make that the star of today's look. And I'm also going to use the gold over here. So what I like about this gold, you can see here. I'm going to swipe it on my hand as well is that this gold is not really very yellowy. In fact, it has a little bit of black in the pigment. So it doesn't make me look um, very yellow when I'm wearing it because I've tried wearing gold before. Sometimes it can make me look very yellow, but because of the black inside, it actually gives kind of like a smoky eye look, which I really love. So now I'm gonna start on the eyes, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of depth back into the eyes. So I'm using the Etude House um, Eyebrow Contouring Kit. And I'm going to use this powder here just to bring back a little bit of colour. No, a little bit of depth. So I'm just starting where my the hollows of my eyes are and going in like that. And leaving the outer edge open. So like this. And do the same for the other eye. And I'm gonna start with the pink in the middle, which is called Regency Romance. And I'm taking this brush and dabbing just a tiny bit on it. I am going to start here at the outer corners of my eyes and just bring the color in. What 
I notice about this is that I find it a little bit difficult to blend. And I've used this palette quite a few times. I, I the first few times I thought it was a little bit patchy, and um, but today it doesn't seem so. But it does. It is a little bit hard to blend. Okay, so now I'm done with the pink. So I quite like the shade. I think it's not super easy to blend but like it looks nice at the end so i'm going to move on to the next shade which is this over here and according to the palette it's called refinement and i am also going to use this brush uh, this is a smudger brush and i want to use this because it's very short and compact so you get more you get more control I'm just loading up my brush with this and dabbing it onto my eyes Beautiful, beautiful. I love this shade on my eyes. Like I really, really love this color. I think it's so gorgeous, even by itself. And if you want to have like even more pigment, you can just use your finger. Like if you're using a brush, I'm gonna cover it like that, all the way inwards and across my eyelid. So, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of fallout uh, over my face, which is normal. I mean, it is a glitter. What I really like about this glitter is that the specks, the individual specks are actually pretty small and very smooth, so they blend in very seamlessly. So, it actually looks like glitter, even on camera, because sometimes when you're using glitter and the pieces are a little bit too big, when you, um, when you take pictures or when you're looking at yourself on camera, it actually just looks like dirt like boogers uh, eye boogers and stuff but this one actually you know it just blends together it's very fluid but at the same time you can still tell that i'm wearing glitter on my eye so i really love that and yeah just a little bit of fallout like i mentioned earlier nothing that's too uh you know it's nothing that's too bad so the next color we're going to move into is this gold shade here and for this i am going to take a tiny brush I'm going to take an accent brush and I'm going to go in I'm going to go in with the gold of the excess and I am going to line my lower lash line so like I mentioned earlier this gold is not like yellowy so um, it's not very yellowy so it actually does also make my eyelashes look thicker it's a black I like who doesn't want thicker lashes? So with this brush, I'm gonna just pull it out like that. And I am going to, from the edge, I am going to also bring the gold up to the center of my eye. So this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, gold didn't really have that much fallout. So now I've done both my eyes and what I like about this gold, um, this gold shade is actually is quite easy to blend. With glitters again, it's not always easy to blend because sometimes they are a bit sticky and like they kind of stick so that they, you know, they don't fall on your face. But I find this color actually pretty easy to blend. And now I am just going to finish up my eyes with eyeliner and with my eyebrows and my mascara and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm finished with my eyes and from what I'm seeing now, I really like how my eyes look so I'm pretty impressed. A little bit of colour goes a long way and I think the glitters are especially outstanding. I have used a lot of glitters before and generally I don't even like working with glitters because I feel like glitters just get over the place and the look of glitters on camera just isn't great. Now we are going to move on to the next part which is the blusher and highlighter. So I have this here. Let me just swatch it on my fingers to show you guys what the three highlight colours look like. So this is the first one. Let me see if there's any more space on my hand. I'm just going to swap it here. It's kind of a nice corally colour. Oh, very silky and very luminescent. Huh. It's kind of close to the eyeshadow colour actually. Is it? No, no, it's not. This is the blusher. Very nice and bright. Let's try 
Let's try this one. And I'll put it over here. Oh, this is a very, also a very pinky. This is more of a coral shade. This is really like a true pink. And we're gonna try the last one here. This is just like a darker pink. It's still very pretty, but I think for today's look, I'm gonna go with this one because I'm really, really attracted to, I'm very attracted to this color. So I'm gonna take my slanted brush and go into this shade. So it's actually pretty pigmented as you can see on my finger. So you go in with, so just, be sure to go in with like a light hand. Tap it on excess and I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. Ooh. Okay, they're very pigmented and oh, oh no. Super pigmented. Even though I was using like a very light hand, but I just want you guys to see. This is what it looks like and one thing I noticed about it is that it has this luminescence. It's not glitter but it's like very luminescent so it makes your face look like you're glowing even if you didn't use any highlighter. But one thing I found uh, using this blusher a few times is that it's a little bit hard to blend. Okay, so you can see right, it is getting a little bit hard to blend. Um, I can't pull it upwards. So all the colour has been concentrated here and it doesn't seem to budge very well. So I'm going to go in with this and take a little bit more colour and bring it up. But you can kind of see the two spots where I first um, put my brush down which is here and here. Okay, can, you, can you tell? And it's very difficult to blend it in together because there's kind of like a gap in between. Uh, I'm going to use another brush. To try and blend it out, I'm gonna use this and yeah. So you can see, right? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't blend very well. And this is a problem I noticed previously as well with this particular blusher that it doesn't move. So you can see now, I look a bit comical because um the blushes are not blending. Okay. This is the best I can blend. And I'm just going to use this damp beauty blender and just stamp out a little bit of colour. Um, yeah, so here's my comment for this blush. I love the colour but... Blending wise... Not, not, not the friendliest. And now I'm going to end off with the highlighter, which is this. I am going to take um, this brush here. Go in with the highlighter and here. Okay. Side. It's a very nice subtle highlighter. I mean, it's not in your face, which I, I personally, I prefer. I think, you know, it's like when, every time I move, it kind of catches the light, which I, which I actually really like. But when you're looking at, uh, when you're looking at it straight on, you can't really see it there. Only when you move, then you're like, wow. Wow. So I would say the highlighter, surprisingly, actually looks very natural. Unlike the rest of the palette, so the highlighter looks very natural and I will wear it like on its own just even for that like dewy dewy look because I think it looks so pretty. And now okay for this look, I'm just gonna finish off with the lips and be done with uh and jump straight into the review. So I'm not gonna do the rest of the contour and whatever. So for today's lipstick, I have this one and this is in the colour Negligee. Right, yes, Negligee 494 and it comes with this cute little packaging with a nice bow and I'm just going to swipe it on whatever space I have left on my hand which is here. So you can see it's actually quite a nice MLBB colour shade that I picked and this is also um, supposed to be like a satin allure so it's supposed to have a satiny finish on your hand and you can see here it does 
It's not matte, but it's also not glossy. It has the same kind of luminescence as the rest of the palette has actually with like the blusher and everything. So I'm just gonna put it on my lips. So my lips are a little bit dry, as so you can see like the cracking and everywhere, but it feels very moisturizing and it's not like really highlighting the, the dead skin on my lips, which I like. Even though this color is pretty close to my lip colors, it actually helps to just like even out the color and if I wanted to make my lips fuller, I just take like a lip pencil and draw the shade in and I can use this to fill it up because the color is really so similar and pretty flattering I would say. So this is the finished look. I really like the way how everything turned out. I think it matches, you know, the whole set, it matches each other, it complements each other very well, which you'll be surprised not all palettes do that. So uh, yeah, I think it looks very nice and elegant. This is definitely more of a dramatic palette. So if you're not into dramatic looks, then maybe this palette is not for you. So now I'm just going to give an overview of everything, of all the products and just tell you guys what I think and what I've experienced. So the first thing is um, the service. So I want to say that their service absolutely sucks, okay? So basically I bought these things from the Pat McGraw website directly. So I bought this myself and like I mentioned, my friends bought these for me but they asked my boyfriend to buy it for me because we're in different countries. So uh, for both of us, we experienced the same problem ordering the products. Firstly, is they tell you on the website that there will be a delay for all the Bridgerton merch which I totally understand because you know it's like the hot show of the season and you know everybody wants the products but they didn't give any update for almost like two, two to three weeks I think for my boyfriend's order it was three weeks for my order it was two weeks um, On their website it actually says that within five I think within five business days you should receive an update so I was like okay I'll just wait but they were not updating at all. In fact, if you look at the order, it was saying like processing even after two weeks. So that means the order hasn't been confirmed. So I wanted to cancel my order, which they said I couldn't. I could only get the items and then refund the items. So I, I uh, in the end, how I managed to get my items is I went to Global E, which is the, uh, the merchant that they get it, that they, that they ship out all these items from. I. Uh, I emailed them and then they shipped it over so if I didn't email them they probably wouldn't I don't know how long whether they would have shipped it or how long more it would have taken because my boyfriend did the same thing after 3 weeks of waiting he, he emailed them and uh, the shipment came soon after so uh, the process of contacting the Pat McGrath team was actually very painful we emailed them they didn't respond I went on her Instagram and then I left comments, DMs, nothing, no response. And I know that this problem is not unique to me. Uh, if you go and scroll on her Instagram page, you can see underneath the comments, underneath the post, the comments, tons of people are having problems uh, receiving their orders. Many, many people not receiving any updates. Um, not receiving updates, they are not shipped out. Some people got their products, some people didn't get their products and she doesn't reply to all the comments so some people, she, some, for some people's comments she's like oh yeah, yeah, my team has messaged you other people she just totally ignore so I, I actually commented on her post like 4 times and she didn't respond to anything I DM also nothing so I, I was pretty upset by the customer service because like I mentioned earlier these are expensive products they are not cheap products it's like 50 pounds for just one eyeshadow palette, it's like six colors. My other products, my other products, this entire set is 110. So to me, it was pretty upsetting. Like how little she cared about her customers. And yeah, so if you go on forums and all of that, you can also see many people have similar experiences. So if you so when they asked me to actually go and refund the item, I was like, you know what, you already have so much trouble sending the item over. I'm not going to refund it because I'm not even going to send it back to get a refund because I can't know that I'm never going to get my refund. So I didn't do that. So apart from the bad service, um, we're going to talk about the quality, which I did mention the quality of the products are great. I, I love the colors. I love the pigments and... Uh, I just like how they look on my face. Yeah, her products have always received a lot of recognition for how stunning they look. 
on Instagram, you can also see her makeup on a lot of models, you know, the glitters, everything. Uh, very, very beautiful. So the quality of each individual product is pretty, is there. Like I mentioned, the blushes doesn't really blend well. Sometimes when I try the eyeshadow, it also comes out a little bit patchy. But today, it didn't come out patchy. So today, it was like pretty, pretty nice. And there isn't a lot of fallout. I mean, for the amount of glitter that I put on my eyes today, there isn't a lot of fallout, which is fantastic. Especially if you like to do your base first, like me. I like to do my base first, then do my eyes. I don't like to do the other way around. So, um, that's good. Oh yes, uh, another thing. This lipstick, even though it's... Um, it's a pretty good formula. It has that old lipstick smell, which I can't really describe, but it, it just, it, you know, like long ago, like like in like the 90s, what lipstick used to smell like, like it's that very cheap lipstick smell, like old lipstick, like the lipstick is old and then there's this smell from the lipstick, which uh, I, I don't appreciate, I don't appreciate the smell. It smells like, it smells like, mm, and, and, the, and, and, and it's actually quite strong, so if you know you're sensitive to scents, I don't think you'll like it because I can smell it from I can smell it from my lips. So And so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the packaging. So why I actually really wanted this makeup set, right? It's because of the packaging. I thought that the packaging online looks so gorgeous. That's why I wanted to buy uh I wanted to get them in the first place, it wasn't because of the formula or anything, it's just because I was so attracted to the packaging. But when they came, I was very, very, very disappointed because they're all cardboard. So if you buy any like high-end products, generally, if you've bought like NARS, um, Urban Decay, Chanel, Dior, you know, high-end that it costs, you know, above like 30 pounds, I would say 30 pounds is pretty expensive already, like Too Faced. They come in like really beautiful packaging for Too Faced, you know, it's their metal packaging for Urban Decay, it's plastic, but uh, nice as well. But it's very nice looking, very... Uh, it feels very nice to hold and it also is very pretty to look at. These are cardboard and um, I was not expecting them to come in cardboard because they feel a little bit cheap, especially this. Especially this one, it, it feels like children's makeup. I don't know how to say, but you know it's like when, when you get the, the palette and then you like... It's a bit underwhelming. So you can hear like, yeah, it's just like... I, I don't know, I don't know what to think of this. I, I, I'm not a fan of the packaging at all. It just looks very cheap. I don't know if they're doing this for the environment, but I know her other products, like the Mothership eyeshadow palettes, she also uses like plastic, you know, kind of like that lacquered plastic look. And it also has like a significant weight to them. These products don't really have that kind of luxurious feel at all. I don't know. If I, you know, I'm a big sucker for packaging. So if I saw this packaging before I bought it, because again, I bought it online, so I didn't know. But if I, if I actually bought it from a shop, I think I might be, I might not have picked it up just because it doesn't look, just because I, 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 I feel like the, 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 the packaging doesn't justify it. It's not justified for the price. Uh, this lipstick also feels very, very, very cheaply made. Like the, the cover of it, yeah, it has a nice bow. But the rest of the lipstick, the, the, this part, I don't know why, it just reminds me of cheap makeup. Uh, yeah, I guess it is the inside that counts. But you know when it comes to makeup, okay? When it comes to makeup, the outside counts too. So, uh, yeah. Overall, would I buy this makeup again? Would I buy it from Pat McGraw again? It's hard to say because, you know, like I said, the customer service, and I don't really want to support the customer service, but like, her products are really very, very well made. Inside, at least, the quality of the products, you know, you can't find like glitters like this that easily. I don't know. If another brand comes out, maybe I would. I would, I would buy another brand, but like, I think I would still repurchase from her because I really love, I just really love my look today. I just really like the eyeshadow, I love the glitters, so yeah. Oh, uh, last thing I would like to add is that if you buy it from her website, why I bought it from her website anyway? Because if you buy it from her website, it's cheaper than buying it from like Sephora or Selfridges. And generally, that's the same for most makeup brands. You buy it directly from the supplier. 
this when I buy it directly from the producer, it's cheaper than getting it from Sephora. Sephora has a crazy markup. So anyway, there's no Sephora in 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 UK. There's only Selfridges. So even I checked it, I saw it in Selfridges and it was pretty expensive as well. So that's all for my review today. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think of the products. If you have bought it, if you experienced the same thing as me, I would really like to know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!